Consider supporting Review Tech USA on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. Skip it up and that up. So I don't think anybody would refute that Nolan Bushnell is at least one of the founding fathers of the modern video game industry. In the 70s, he founded Atari, which went on to create the Atari 2600, which many consider to be the first modern um, home console. There were consoles obviously before it, but with interchangeable cartridges and how the system worked, it really set the blueprint for what we expected from consoles from then on out. And it's safe to say that Nolan Bushnell is one of the people that made the industry what it is today, this multi-billion dollar industry that's so big, the gaming industry is so big that not only are people buying games in droves, but it's so popular that loudmouths like me can make a living having a commentary channel on YouTube, mostly talking about video games. Think about how insane that is. And realizing how much Nolan Bushnell contributed to the gaming industry, the Game Developers Choice Awards this year was going to give Nolan Bushnell a Pioneer Award. But of course, like anything else, there has to be drama behind it. And now that is not going to happen because Nolan Bushnell was horny in the 70s. Now, Nolan Bushnell in the 70s, when Atari was in its infancy, he treated you know, business meetings more like fraternity parties. It was the 70s. It was a much different time. Pong designer Al Alcorn, in his book, The Ultimate History of Video Games from Pong to Pokemon to Beyond, wrote this about Bushnell. We had a board meeting in Nolan Bushnell's tub. Nolan was saying how much money we were going to be worth, all these millions, and I thought to myself, I'll believe this when I see it. Nolan needed some papers and documents, so he called his office and said, have Miss So-and-so bring them up. We were in his tub when she arrived, so he proceeded to try to get her in the tub during the board meeting. A San Francisco Chronicle report quotes Bushnell saying, Some ladies feel comfortable around me and some don't. I find the aura of power and money is very intimidating to an awful number of girls. And there was an article in a Playboy magazine called Sex, Drugs, and Video Games where it said that upcoming Atari games were codenamed after women. And one video game was codenamed Darlene where Nolan Bushnell said she was stacked and had the tiniest waist. Oh my God, drama, shocking. Oh no, he should be banished from the gaming industry. Now, of course, because God forbid Nolan Bushnell at one time was a young male and was human and women made him achieve an erection. I hashed tag started trending on Twitter called Not Nolan because, oh my God, back in the day, he used to be a playboy and used to flirt with women and he had objectified them and he's a horrible person and during the Me Too movement's going on right now, so he doesn't deserve this award. As a matter of fact, fake game designer and perpetual victim Brianna Wu had this to say about Nolan Bushnell on Twitter. This is what her take on the whole thing is. Nolan Bushnell is clearly a deeply important person in video game history. He deserves to be honored for a lifetime achievement award without question but in the year that the me too movement is going on and we're having a reckoning about what women face in the workplace it just seems really tone deaf by gdc now for some reason when i was filming i forgot to mention the responses from both gdc and nolan bushnell so here they are this is what the gdc had to say about not giving nolan bushnell the pioneer award the game developers choice awards advisory committee who vote on the special award winners for each show have made the decision not to give out a pioneer award for this year's event. Following additional feedback from the community, they believe their pick should reflect the values of today's game industry and will dedicate this year's award to honor the pioneering and unheard voices of the past. AKA, they're buckling under unnecessary pressure because they want to appease everybody. Now, this is Nolan Bushnell's response to no longer receiving the Pioneer Award from the GDC. I applaud the GDC for ensuring that their institution reflects what is right, specifically with regards to how people should be treated in the workplace. And if that means a reward is the price I have to pay personally so the whole industry may be more aware and sensitive to these issues, I applaud that too. If my personal actions or the actions of anyone who ever worked with me offended or caused pain to anyone at our companies, then I apologize without reservation. Now, I just wanted to make sure before I started making this video that there was nothing that I was missing that Bushnell did, okay? I wanted to make sure maybe there was something really heinous that he did was that was at like Harvey Weinstein or Kevin Spacey caliber. So I looked all over the internet and I looked through his history and nothing, <laughs> nothing. He just did the shit that I just read to you. He objectified women by, I guess, naming cartridges after them and saying that they're stacked. He tried to get women into his hot tub and that's it. He was a horny got young guy 
back in the 70s. There's nothing else going on. He didn't slip anything in anyone's drink. He didn't do anything. He didn't push someone up against the wall and, and force them to do some kind of sexual act on them. He was just a young guy with a lot of money who was just heavily flirting with women. And now, decades upon de decades later, he's now, now, for something that he really shouldn't even face repercussions for, is now going to face repercussions. Almost 50 years later. Think about that. What enrages me and scares me about this is no one has a squeaky clean history. I don't care man or woman. I don't care how young or old you are. I am sure every single person out there watching this video has done something or acted in a certain way or said something out of anger or whatever the case may be that they now regret. Now, as I say that, because everyone, you know, just likes to take everything black and white and take things out of context. Yes, context and nuance matter. Obviously, if someone was a serial killer in the 70s, and it's now 2018, they could say all they want to, oh, I'm a changed person. Now, granted, I, I killed 15 women back in 1974, but I've changed my ways. Yeah, you don't get forgiveness if you did that, <laughs> okay? Obviously, again, context and nuance matter. But every person out there has done something regrettable, has said something regrettable, that if someone digs through their history, we could always question someone's integrity. We're human beings, we're not perfect, we're flawed, and we do stupid shit. We're at a point now that if someone has an agenda that they don't agree with your viewpoint, and they want to just get you out of the way, they can make up a lie about you and take you down. Or they could go through your history, find something that you did that is somewhat questionable, blow it out of proportion, and discredit you, and have no one ever trust you again, which could ruin your future, could get rid of your sponsorships, could destroy your credibility. And all it takes is a tweet. All it takes is an email. The court of public opinion is now more powerful than the court of law. And it's pathetic. And you know what bothers me the most is that when it comes to corporations and award events and sponsors and whatever the case may be, they all fold like a deck of cards if there's even any kind of kickback, if there's any kind of friction. And that empowers these people. Instead of the Game Developers Choice Award saying, hey, look, it was a different era. He, you know, didn't sexually assault anybody. He didn't attack anybody like many other people in Hollywood have done. We'll, we'll let him slide on this. It was so long ago, and it, it's nowhere near the severity of what other people have done in Hollywood. No, they just said, no, oh, oh my God, there, there's, a, there's a hashtag going on on Twitter. Let's totally discredit Nolan Bushnell and embarrass the guy for something that honestly should have just been like a bump in the road. And the thing is, there's been books and articles about Nolan Bushnell, about him doing these things for years. Why now is it a problem? I could see... I'll give maybe a, an ounce of credit to this whole not Nolan thing, even though I still think he should get the reward. If none of this was brought to light before, if there was no books, no articles out there talking about how he ran Atari back in the day, but this has all been public knowledge. Now, all of a sudden, it's not okay. I don't care that now there's a Me Too movement going on now because the Me Too movement went from being something that got rid of pieces of shit like Harvey Weinstein, who deserved to be punished and kicked out of Hollywood. Now it's turning into a witch hunt and it's disgusting. It's getting to the point where I feel as if a man even looks at a woman funny in any industry, he could be accused of sexual assault now and discredited. And back to Brianna Wu, the self-proclaimed well-known game developer who made one shitty game for iOS, Android, and you could get it on Steam. The game's called Revolution 60. It looks like a budget Dreamcast game back in 1999. You're not accomplished at anything. You are a perpetual victim that uses your victimhood to get notoriety. And right now you're using your victimhood, hoping that it will get you a seat in Congress, which I hope to God doesn't happen. What bothers me most about Brianna Wu, who is like, oh, look, I'm a woman game developer and I'm accredited, who isn't, who isn't. Uh, she ruins it for other women who actually have huge accomplishments in the gaming industry. And I don't want them to be labeled another Brianna Wu because Brianna Wu exists. There are actually very talented women out there who have done great things in the gaming industry, who have huge achievements. They should be applauded, 
not that outspoken idiot. For example, Carol Shaw, who just received the Industry Icon Award at the Game Awards in 2017, she was the brainchild behind River Raid for the Atari 2600 and other consoles, which is an amazing game. If you're young and you haven't played River Raid, obviously the graphics aren't gonna be what you're used to, but the gameplay is so damn solid. That's one of the best games for the Atari 2600. She deserves accolades, not Brianna Wu because she won't shut the hell up. Or what about Amy Henning? I just made a video on her recently. She's the brainchild behind Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver and the Uncharted series. She is a fantastic, very talented woman in the gaming industry. She should be receiving accolades. We should be talking about her all the time, not Brianna Wu, because once again, she can't keep her mouth shut. Whether or not you like the guy, I think no matter what side of the political spectrum you're on, and I touched upon this topic earlier on in this video, Cenk Uger was talking about Ken Bone in one of their recent videos. And he said the same thing I just said, is that if you dig, seriously dig through anybody's past, especially now with the internet and how nothing ever gets deleted from the internet, even if you delete it, you can find something quote unquote shady about everybody. And it was Liana Kersner, who I do the Rich and Red podcast with, who said the same thing I said on Twitter, is that if you won't honor someone because they acted in a way that was normal at the time, then just stop awards. The whole problem was that this stuff happened everywhere. Everyone was guilty. And that's true. It was a different time on top of it. Not only are the things that Nolan Bushnell is being accused of not really that bad, there were different standards back then. And if you try to hold people from the past up to the standards of now, everyone is guilty of something. And like she said, just stop handing out awards. But again, because human beings are tribalistic and now this whole Me Too movement has turned into something that was good and is now just another witch hunt, we have people like Emily Linden, who writes for Teen Vogue, saying things like this on Twitter. Back in November, she wrote, here's an unpopular opinion. I'm actually not at all concerned about innocent men losing their jobs over false sexual assault slash harassment allegations. Now, of course, a lot of people got pissed off at her and then she went on to say, oh, because you know, the, a lot of the allegations are never false and that virtually never happens and that's what I really meant, so on and so forth. But that, that's the mindset. It's a witch hunt. Ah, if some people get, if their credibility gets destroyed, some people, their credibility gets destroyed. We have a movement to move on with. Who cares? Just knock them out of the way and, hey, man, we're on a witch hunt right now. Who cares if people's lives get destroyed? That's the mindset right now. That's the political climate right now. And this is the reality of 2018, where anyone's livelihood and life could be destroyed instantly by a tweet or an email or a social media post. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And to hear more content like this, make sure to subscribe to Review Tech USA.